Well guys, I'm gonna make a quick little video on uh, freshwater clams, and I'll tell you uh, the main reason I'm uh, making this video a little later, but for now I'll just say that uh, a while, quite a while back now, I was getting a drink of water and I seen these clams in, in the brook there. And I looked at a couple and threw them back, and I went home and I googled it, and uh, and then from what I learned online, they were saying that there was only eastern pearl shell uh, clams in Labrador, and these look to be different, so I went back again and got some samples, <laughs> took some pictures and sent off some emails and that, and I got some responses back, and uh, and it led me to a contact to a fellow that's actually doing research on freshwater clams, so that's perfect. So uh, these I had in the freezer, which I collected back then, and uh, and then uh, Tyler was telling me, Tyler Rumble, uh, the cat slayer was telling me about some uh, shills that he's seen at an old beaver house quite a few years back. So me and Lil and Tyler went down yesterday and collected some, seen the old shills in that there, and then we went out in the water and got some live samples. So now I'm gonna package these up, send them off to uh, a fellow that's doing research, and he'll properly identify them. And, uh, okay, I got the phone call. Yep, down around there. Oh. Alright, this little stitty here is where uh, Tyler uh, was this old beaver house years ago, done a little trapping, and he seen these shills here, and uh, so he brought us here, and we're going to take a few samples and hopefully get some live ones to, to bring back for research. And just look at the size of these. These are huge. I got a feeling these are eastern pearl shell. May not be, but I'm going to get some samples for a fellow that's doing research. And I hope to get some live samples here now. But look, there's a lot here, so I can't see why we're not going to find no live, live ones. Yeah, that's a good sample. You want to take the sample? What? Okay. Don't drop them. We'll keep them. Don't want to break them. We're going to take that one back. Oh, yeah. It's heavy. Oh, empty ones. Is it? Yeah, he's empty. Some kind of worm or something in there. Uh, maybe a live one. I don't want to see. Uh, no, it's dead ones there. Yeah. Oh, it's a live one? Yeah. He's a big one, too. Way to go. What's that? Hold my breath and close my eyes and go underwater. Look at that. That's a monster. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Now that's five. Now wait, one, two, three, four, five. We can grab one because that one over there. Okay, you want to open one? We'll open one and. Wait, actually. Wait, actually, yeah. wait, actually we can look for more. Yes. And then, and then the rest we all get, we can crack open. I see one here, I'm not sure if that's a live one or a shell. It's a shell. Oh, a live one. Really? <laughs> You're a real pro, buddy, just like that. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, kind of dark, like, uh... Another one! Really? <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole bunch of over here. Man, there's a lot in the small area, don't know, huh? They're not very good eating, though. I think someone said it tastes like almost tastes like mud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another one. Oh my, we got thousands. <laughs> now I gotta see now, because. One hundred percent guaranteed pearl in at least one of them. Oh, rock. Oh, buddy, they're doing good though. The flies are getting take two now, but. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get my bag and uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna wrap them up because like, the shells is fragile on them. Yeah. Rock. Oh. Mm. You got, oh, look at that. <laughs> you're all. I mean, if you're in here in this little steady, you gotta be everywhere up to tons. Oh, for sure. Well, I'm thinking these are different though than the other ones I got though. Mm. What a Even though the other one now that, that feeder leads into what? this. A huge Ooh, one. <laughs> Man, what a spot you got. Oh, you're down. Give me your hand. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> two, two clams instead of a hand. Yeah, look at some of these gold now. I guess we got enough samples. Uh, and I suppose Ooh. I can carry some and you can put them in the back. Okay. These ones, <laughs> now, these live ones, uh, you know, when they go short, they can last for two to three weeks, so as we keep cool. So, I'm going to do these up and send them off. But the main reason for doing this video is uh, because there's a lot of people, you know, that do it on the land, hunting, trapping, fishing, or whatever, and sometimes you'll see uh, shells or mussels and, and, you know, and probably never mention it again. But so, so anyone, you know, that knows for any places where, uh, you know, we could find, potentially find some freshwater clams, contact me with, uh, you know, the coordinates or, you know, where's to, and, uh, Hopefully sometime we'll be able to get some samples there and send them off and uh, it'll just help in the research, I guess. So, you know, uh, just use the power of YouTube, <laughs> social media, so you can, uh, uh, we help, you know, uh, figure out the di distribution of these different types of mussels here in Labrador. So any and all help would be much appreciated. And, you know, uh, since I found these, well, Tyler mentioned about uh, the shells that he's seen there. so. So now we got some uh, samples from that area going in, and I'm, I just assume these are eastern pearl shell, just because of the shape, the color, and all that. But uh, but who knows exactly what they are for sure? So we're gonna send those in. We got quite a few here, and along with these that I had frozen and shell there. So so yeah, and uh, you know since I posted that video, I know uh, Garrett there in Charlottetown mentioned about some uh, freshwater clams or slash mussels that's uh, just inside of Charlottetown there, and. Uh, I'm going to bet there's, there's a lot of people out there that knows a lot more as well and so together we can figure out or add to the to the research that's being done I guess so uh, so yeah don't hesitate inbox me message me or something if you know or got any info on where we may find some be really much appreciated and I'll at least give credit to uh, you know whoever helps that's for sure Right on. So thank you, Tyler Rummelt, Cat Slayer. Much appreciated. Me and the little fella had a blast yesterday, and uh, yeah, it was good fun. Yeah. So I guess that's it for this one. And probably I'll do a follow up video later on, you know, when we get these properly identified and stuff like that as well. So, all right, just a quick video. Really appreciate it, guys. All the best. Run the big land.